Actually, I've got a story to tell about a misguided angel who flew and he fell. Frank was an average boy. No, I say a man fresh out of school with no particular plan. No college for Frank because Frank wasn't smart. Instead of academic skills, Frank was blessed with power. Some people say that this was a blessing in disguise, but this fact would soon lead to Frank's demise. Getting ahead of myself, get back to the present and hit him hard when he couldn't afford a birthday present from his beloved mother who worked so hard to keep food on the table so that he didn't starve. With this in the mind, if this ambitious young man decided to get a reputation by joining a gang, hit the street because the only man black he knew who wasn't who was the man selling crap. <laughs> Didn't want to seem weak, but want to be dealt with Bill is way up the rank, selling drugs to neighbours Didn't take any shit from you, went to do favours One day he was out, selling rocks When a kid came down the road, shouting the cops This a cork and crack, he had on him a van The police cornered him, put him in the back of the van Police brutality when he didn't say a word Or cooperate by making the real truth heard His mother was sick, so he got his own place She rejected his words, threw it back in his face Growing cold and bitter, Frank hated the world So he took it out on people who didn't deserve it one day and used to trip door and scuffed his shoe Just to keep it now he lives on hospital food Carried on like this until one summer he saw his friend selling crack to a pregnant woman. Looked at himself in the mirror. He hated what he saw and knew the time had come where he could hustle no more. Packed up his things and moved back with his mum. Promised to get a job and work as hard as he can. Applied for McDonald's cleaning. Worked until he ached, but he kept on pursuing the minimum wage. He felt better in himself even though he was poor. Knowing that his heart and soul and body were pure. He reflected one night after a nine hour shift that life was good even though he'd never be rich, life's too short to ruin it, that's a fact, then the same night he saw the boy who he attacked, he recognised his face, but what was worse was the gun in his hand, he should have noticed his first, Frank looked up, said sorry and started to cry, he said that's what you think, put a bullet between his eyes.